Typically, a day at the park is a blast for the whole family. It's probably just as exciting, if not more, for any toddler. The thought of being able to play on the slides, the monkey bars, and even taking a ride on a swing would excite any kid. In fact, when Jier Donnelly, a three-year-old, was taken to Maryland Park to spend the day with his mother, he was probably ecstatic. What kid wouldn't be? He was probably thrilled when he arrived, and was probably even more happy to go on the swings. Each push likely made him feel like he was on top of the world. But after some time, I'm sure he wanted to head home. He probably begged and pleaded with his mom, as best a toddler could, to head back home, but she just kept pushing. He probably cried louder and louder to get off the swings, but his mom just kept pushing. It's terrible to say, but despite his probable pleading and cries for help, his mom just kept pushing until his little heart gave out. Once he had passed, his mom still kept pushing. On the 22nd of May, 2015, a toddler, Jier Donald Lee, was found dead on some swings in Maryland Park, his mother still pushing his lifeless body. Just two days prior to the incident, Jier was alive, he was happy. And on May 20th, 2015, again, two days prior, his mom took him to a nearby park, where she began to push him on the swings, endlessly, for two days until police arrived on the scene. When they got there, they found the lifeless body of Jier and his mother, Romchia Sims, still pushing his lifeless corpse. She was hysterical, and when interrogated on the scene, investigators couldn't get much from her. Jier died of dehydration and hypothermia, and his death was ruled a homicide by the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner in Baltimore. Sims was soon hospitalized for about four days taken there after police found the haunting scene. According to Sims' family, she suffered from several mental illnesses, depression, bipolar disorder, and was later found to be suffering from schizophrenia as well. Moreover, she had also suffered a mental breakdown just three months prior to the incident. About a week later, a funeral was held for Jier, and his mother seemed composed, or as composed as a grieving mother could be. And according to many, you could feel the tremendous sadness she was feeling. Jier's father was also there at the service, mourning the loss of his son. It should also be noted he fought for custody of his son in March of that same year, after concerns arose about Sim's mental health. Concerns that were brought to light after she attempted to jump out of a moving car. Despite being charged for his son's murder, a judge would rule that Sims could not be held accountable for her actions because of her mental illness. That said, she still unfortunately has to live with the guilt of knowing she unwittingly killed her own son. People will judge me, she told the Washington Post, and she adds, I will never get over losing my son. 